Get ready for College Hoops 2K8. The Oregon State Beavers face off against the LSU Tigers. This is going to be a terrific matchup. Hi there, everyone. We're here at the Pete Maravich Assembly Center. I'm Vern Lundquist with my partner, Bill Raftery, and our sideline reporter, Tracy Wilson. Give us your take, Bill. This game features a great matchup at the point guard position. Williamson is a superb point guard. He has a knack for always making the right decision. When he's on, he can drive defenders crazy. Peyton is also right up there with the best point guards in the country. He's got tremendous hops, and I'm sure it won't be long before we see him send it in with reckless abandon. Both looking to lead their teams to a win. Dishes to the right side. Martin inbounds the ball. Payton. Takes it up. The finger roll was laid in by Martin. We're now all tied up two. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Tracy Wolfson, who has some info for us. Thanks, Vern. A little while ago, I talked with the head coach. He told me that he has a lot of faith in the defensive ability of his players, and today he'd like to see them match that effort on the other end of the court. He said that would make them a very tough team to beat, not to mention make him a very happy coach. Thanks, Tracy. Hayton behind the arc. Burns grabs the rock. O'Neal has it down low. Hits it. They're up six to two. Feeds out left. Number 22 catches it right wing. Releases from 16 feet. Pulled in by Jackson. Leads him with the pass. Burns bounces it to the left. Stolen by number 44. What a nice steal on the kick out. You can see him read it all the way. Hayton puts it up. O'Neal calls in the board. Nice work by the big fella to get that rebound. Left wing. Tosses it up. Fouled hard there. He'll get two free throws. Knocks down the first one. He gets them both. Martin inbounds the ball. Number 50 hands it off. Away. And it's scooped up by Williamson. The break is on. I like how he gets himself into defensive position at the right place at the right time yet again. The Oregon State player is going to let his team have it. He just can't be happy with the run that they've had just now. Well, let's get back to the action. inbound play. Got it! They narrow it to five. About seven and a half minutes left in the half. Williamson dumps it off. O'Neal goes up. Sensational block. Big time rejection. It seems like nothing can destroy this guy. 
but he will destroy you in a heartbeat. What a pass. Number 50 nails the turnaround jumper. He's got two. Williamson passes it up court. Takes it up. Snatched inside by Martin. Peyton for the tie. Got it. He's shooting 66% from deep. LSU has been on the wrong side of this long run, and Tracy's got a report for us. The head coach is not at all happy with the drought they're going through and told his assistants to find a way, any way, to turn this one around. All right, Tracy. Number 22 has it left wing. The last shot missed from three-point range. Goes up. Gets it to go, and he's got a chance to add one more. Terrific work to absorb the contact, hang in the air, and hit the shot. Pretty, Vern. And that one puts them ahead. Jackson inbounds the ball. Poked loose. Just over six minutes left in the half. Stolen by Oregon State. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. Williamson brings it up court. It looks like they're playing man to man. O'Neal. Full net. And they now trail by one. Gets it right wing. Number 50. This is it to the high post. Ayton with the shot. Nice speed by number 10. They're now up by three. Baseline. Takes it up. Good job on the layup by O'Neal. But they're still behind by one. Number 10 inbounds the ball. Number 22 hands it off. Beats it to the elbow. Number 10 all alone. Banks it in. They're up by three. Just over five minutes left in the half. O'Neal. Backs in. Lobs it to the free throw line. Williamson catches it on the elbow. Launches one from beyond the arc. Grabbed by Burns. Jackson dumps it off. Dumps it to the inside. Burns with a great offensive rebound there. He worked so hard to establish position. He can't get the first. And he's going to come away empty from the line. Number 22 goes up, slides in with a soft finger roll. They're in front, 21 to 16. Williamson fires it way up court. Williamson throws the pass offline and it heads out of bounds. The Tigers will bring in some players from off the bench. McIntosh inbounds the ball. Number 15. Catches it, top of the key. Hayton skips it to the right. LSU is really struggling. Throws it up. The jumper was buried by Krajewski. 
the Beavers call timeout. Well, it looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball. Oregon State has had serious problems with their interior defense. And Tracy has a report from their bench. The Beavers coach just told the players on his bench, we have to be more physical in the paint. Don't be afraid of some contact. Sounds like he'd rather have some fouls called than to keep giving up all those easy baskets. Thanks, Tracy. Makes the first. He gets the second to fall as well. Jackson inbounds the ball. Under four minutes left in the half. Right side. Singleton from the right block. It drops. He's got two. Bounces it to the right side. Takes it up. Nice floater back there by number 44. And they're now out in front by five. It's stolen by McIntosh. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. Last shot laid in by McKinney. The Tigers with some difficulties. Williamson, risky pass. The steal by Oregon State. Oh, the quick hands. Before they even knew what hit them, he made off with that one. the first. O'Neal is needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. He gets them both. The LSU coach doesn't look happy. He's going to try and turn things around with this timeout. O'Neal inbounds the ball. It's a nine-point spread. There's no question what kind of defense they're in, Vern. Miniman. Nice little crossover. Number 15 banks it right in. The streak continues with 14 unanswered. Two thirty-four left in the first half. Passes to the stripe. O'Neal backs him down. Singleton shoots it. Burns pulls it in. Takes it up. Lays it right in. And they're now behind by nine. Takes the shot. The shot from beyond the arc was no good by Martin. They're still up by nine. Leads him in. O'Neal gets it on the elbow. Shoots the turnaround. Ball net. But they're still behind by seven. The Beavers will take a timeout. The Beavers will get a few of their starters back in the game. McIntosh inbounds the ball. Pokes free. And it's gathered up by Williamson. I'd love to see that. He's lurking around then pounce. Such a thief firm. O'Neal, the shot down low. Gets it to four. They narrow it to five.
Payton. Gets the finger roll to fall. They bring their lead to seven. LSU is really struggling. Has it far side. Releases. The three-pointer knocked down by Jackson. He's got three. Listen to the crowd burn. This kind of excitement is why I love college basketball. Williamson gets called for the reach, and that's his first foul. The Tigers are making substitutions. Oh, oh, bad call. McIntosh inbounds the ball. Number 22 dumps it inside. 56 seconds left in the first half. Up ahead, inside. Number 13 pulls the trigger, finishes the break. They're now behind by two. They can go two for one here, Vern, if they hurry it up. Dishes to the wing. Number 22. Passes to the wing. Goes up. Great finish in traffic. And they're up by four. 28 seconds left in the first half. Knocks it loose. And it's picked up by Oregon State. He was more worried about scoring than had the ball knocked loose. That's why he is squeezy, young fellow. Singleton inbounds the ball. Passes left wing from deep. Oh, net in the shot by Burns. But they're still down by three. First half comes to an end with the score 37 to 34. What's your take on the first half, Bill? I don't see them slowing down, Vern. I think it's going to go on like this for the rest of the game. Buckle yourself in. Let's see who we have as our player of the half. Bill? Peyton has been lights out from the floor, Vern. It must feel like he's thrown the ball in the ocean. Every shot he takes goes through, and he looks absolutely unstoppable. Tremendous effort from our player of the half. We're all set to begin the second half. Martin inbounds it to start the second half. Hayton. No dice from long range. But they're still out in front by three. Tracy Wolfson has more on what went on in halftime. Tracy? During halftime, I talked with the head coach. He told me his team is down, but he's going to push the issue even more in the second half to make a comeback. Coach went on to say that he was going to break all the conventional wisdom and blaze his own path this game. We can expect to see some strange practices coming up. Back to you, Vern. Nice work, Tracy. Catches it, top of the key. Burns dishes it to the outside. Jackson for the tie, off target. Number 44, way up court. Number 15, takes it up. And here's the State Farm drive of the game. This guy is fun to watch, Vern. He can really fill it up. Jackson inbounds the ball. Right wing, Jackson with the shot. No good from beyond the arc. Right around nine minutes left in the second half. Payton takes it up. The bucket is good, and he'll have a chance for one more. Oregon State is making sure that everyone is getting enough looks and a chance to contribute. Their shot distribution has been wonderful. He 
completes the three-point play. They're bringing the double team. Williamson tosses it up court. Passes it to the baseline to end the run. The lay-in was good by O'Neal. He's shooting 83% for the game. Williamson gets the reach-in call, and that is his third foul so far. Singleton got a quick breather, but they need him back on the floor. Martin inbounds the ball. Leads him in. Martin, from six feet away, gets nothing but net. Tremendous pass by Peyton. Four assists, and he leads both teams in that category. O'Neal in the key. Shooting two. Knocks down the first one. He gets the second to fall as well. Number 44 inbounds the ball. About eight and a half minutes left in the second half. Feeds it to the right. Peyton. It's money from deep. He's 8 for 12 for the game. They're set up in minimum. Fires. They answered right back with a three-pointer by number 13. He's one for two from long range. Peyton brings it up the floor. Number 22 shoots it. Answers right back with his own three. They lead 52 to 43. Jackson hands it off. Singleton lobs it to the inside. Goes up. Hit it. Got fouled. And he'll have a shot at the three-point ball. Beautiful work to fight through that foul and get to the line for the three opportunity. Good for the three-point play. Number 44 inbounds the ball. About seven and a half minutes left in the second half. Number 22 shoots, nails the tray. He's got 10. Number 13 passes way down court. Launches one from beyond the arc. It was hit by number 13. He's shooting 66% from three-point range. Number 44. Denial. Taking it in with a layup was a little foolhardy. Come strong or stay out of town. Knocked loose. And it's scooped up by Martin. It's two on one. Number 22. Throws it up. Nails the jump shot. And they now go up by eight. Singleton catches it, right wing. It's deflected. But it's recovered by LSU. Bounce pass, out left. Let's it go. The shot fell a little short, but rolled in by O'Neal. 27 points, and he leads all scores. About six and a half minutes left in the second half. Martin dumps it off. Number 22 picks it up, gets the finger roll to fall. They extend the lead to eight. O'Neal inbounds the ball. Dangerous pass. Number 13. From deep, it falls. 
They narrow it to five. Hayton brings it up the floor. Has it right wing. Number 50 skips it to the free throw line. Launches it. Box down and the rebound corralled by Singleton. Lucky break for the defense. Whoever was supposed to be guarding him better wake up because the next time it won't be a miss. About five and a half minutes left in the second half. The Beavers call time. Both teams are making a few lineup changes. Martin inbounds the ball. Stolen away. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. The Beavers still hold a narrow lead. Out right. Hayton. 24 points, and he's his team's leading scorer. Wow, these fans are going nuts, Fern. Could this building get any louder? Jackson throws it up, buries the triple. He's got six. Under five minutes left in the second half. Martin tosses it up. Almost a three-point opportunity. Instead, he'll go to the line for two. This is the first. It's the wrong time to start missing your free throws, Vern. They sure would like to pad their lead. Jackson passes it up court. Kajuski shoots. Gets the go-ahead bucket. The Beavers call time. And they've got one left. Getting set to inbound the ball. Both teams are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Number 44 inbounds the ball, and it's a one-point game. Feeds left wing. Martin has it outright. Knocked loose! And it's controlled by LSU. Well, he tried to sell the shot. He was alert and didn't buy Good steal from the pump fake. Right around four minutes left in the second half. Fouls him! That puts him in foul trouble with not much time left on the clock. He'll want to stay in the court for every last second, Vern, but he wants to make those seconds count. Outright. Bounces it to the high post. Hayton. Pulls the trigger. Can't put an end to the run. Might have rushed that one just a little bit. There was plenty of time on the shot clock, but he got a little over-anxious. O'Neal inside. This crowd couldn't be any happier. Just listen to the people in this building. They're on a roll with 18 unanswered points. Martin inbounds the ball. Oregon State is really struggling. Swings it to the wing. Number 22. It falls! They're now down by two. Slam. He's shooting 83% of the game. 254 left in the game. Hayton to the rim. Up and in off the glass. But they still trail by two.
pass, right wing. O'Neal to the rack. On the money. He's 16 for 19 for the game. Peyton brings it up court. He fouls him. You're never going to get away bumping the ball handler on a steal attempt. Too aggressive. Martin inbounds the ball. The crossover catches it right side. Number 22 skips it far side. Last 19 foot shot off target by Martin. Look at the big fella pull down that board. When he sees the ball go up, he isn't afraid to go after it. O'Neal, easy look. Nothing but net. They're ahead. 73 to 67. Right side. Martin with the shot. He rips down the rebound. Dumps it to the middle. O'Neal takes it up. The monster slam. Terrific feed by number 13. Five assists, and he leads his team in that category. The Beavers are really struggling. Martin hands it off. Number 15. There's a whistle. They need to be cautious, Vern. One more foul puts them over the limit. Martin inbounds the ball. Swish! They cut it to six. It's deflected! And it's gathered up by Martin. Goes up, banks it off the glass and in. And they're now down by four. Passes it to the stripe. O'Neal takes it up. Slides in with a soft finger roll. Boy, what a delicate finger drop. He's one of the best. Just sit back and enjoy the shot. Number 15 gets it right wing. Hits the layup after the pump fake freezes the D. Wow, it's been an offensive showcase for both these teams. What fireworks. Jackson inbounds the ball. Martin has picked up his first foul of the game. The foul stops the clock, which is just what the doctor ordered. And that's why they did it. Time is not on their side. Very smart play. Martin has picked up his second foul. Well, no choice but the foul. They've got to stop the clock and get the ball back right away. Hayton has picked up his first foul of the game. Good foul there. They need the ball back as soon as possible. And it's scooped up by Peyton. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one up easily. Last shot laid in by Martin. That's exactly why you don't quit working once the shot goes up. You keep fighting for those offensive boards to help your team out. Burns inbounds the ball. Peyton has picked up his second foul. The foul stops the clock, which is just what the doctor ordered. And that's why they did it. Time is not on their side. Very smart play. A five-second call. Big turnover. Got to put the ball somewhere, Vern. If you just do your best imitation of a street lamp, you'll get the call. And they'll get the ball anyway. One second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Skip pass to the paint. Hayton. Knocked free. But it's recovered by Peyton. Foul. Not all the fouls were bad ones, Vern. But they all count the same. And he's got to take a seat. Singleton didn't sit for long. And he's coming back into the ballgame. Singleton 
will come off the floor. That could not have been a tougher pair of free throws. He knocked them down like he was at practice. Steely. O'Neal inbounds the ball. Has it top of the key. O'Neal goes up, slams home a huge dunk. Send it in. The D was probably smart to get out of the way of that one. Hayton for the lead. And it's all over. The Tigers just get by Oregon State, 79-77. to And now it's time to show you our player of the game. Now let's go back to Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac Game Changing Performance. Thanks, Vern. Welcome, everyone, to 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac Game Changing Performance. This contest needed every second afforded before a winner was to come out on top. The LSU Tigers really had their hands full until the game's closing moments when this clutch shot gave them the lead and the win. Thank you, Greg. This is Vern Lundquist for Tracy Wolfson and Bill Raftery. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of College Hoops on 2K Sports.